Now then, welcome to the channel and to the Lake District. We parked in Threlkeld this morning and we've got a challenge. It's a glorious sunny Sunday and we need to find a quiet route up and down Blencathra. So the plan is to go up Holsfell Ridge and then back down over Gateskill. I've been wanting to do Holsfell Ridge for a while. So yeah, should be good. Let's have a quick look at the route. See our return route up there by that wall. From that outcrop up there. That's going to test the legs coming down there. Isn't it? Right, on we go. So it's not a long walk today, it's only three and a half miles, but both the Ascent and descent are both steep, and I believe Holsfell Ridge has a bit of exposure on it. So we'll see what that's like. I don't want to be going too far. I did eight miles, eight and a half miles yesterday in Augil Fells, and my legs are still feeling that. So we'll see how we get on going up, up Holsfell. So the other side of this stream is where we branch off the, the path that goes around the bottom of the fells and we go up there and up that ridge and so much for a quiet route. Look, another, well, I mean people. <laughs> right onwards and very soon upwards it was my favorite word coming up there steep ah, look at the views already 
that's looking over to Grasmoor and the Kildale Fells and beyond Clough Head and over the Dodds and Helvellings over that way and there's Little Melfell and Great Melfell and the far distance is Cross Fell and Little Dunfell and Great Dunfell and the far well it's not a ridge that's Scales Fell and in the middle is Doddick Fell and the last time we parked in Threlkeld that's the way we went up which is Wainwright's third favourite route up Blencathra and what we're doing today up here is his second favourite his first favourite being Sharp Edge which I don't think I'll ever get to do certainly won't be taking Charlie up there anyway and uh, so much for trying to find a quiet route up here them two that we saw just before we started to climb and there's three more in front of them as well <laughs> so it's a popular route is this oh and then looking over the other side that ridge there I believe that's going to be our return route and there's somebody coming down that as well and there's somebody coming up behind us on here oh, isn't it? so much for a quiet route <laughs> Ooh, a bit breezy now as well was forecast to be about 15 to 20 miles an hour on top of Glen Catherine. Right, on we go. Ah, so there we have arrived at the first scrambly section. Oh, look, it's only a little short section there. So, I don't think Charlie will have any trouble getting up there. He'll breeze it, he'll be better up here than me. Right, oh, breeze is picking up. Right, up we go. Well, we're making progress up here. Whew. I tell you what, it's tough in places, is this? It's the, the edgiest edge I've been up. <laughs> yeah, it's tough in places. Oh, there's looking over Derwent Water. Ah. Anyway, carrying on up there. Oh, right, on we go. Oh, so we've made it to the top of Blencathra. Oh, that was tough. It was really tricky in places, was that? Very exposed in some places. I've enjoyed it though. It's been really good. Right, so I was going to have lunch up here, but it's a bit breezy, so we'll see if we can find somewhere to drop down out the wind and have our lunch. So we'll see you in a bit. I can't see a path going down there, Charlie. So we're heading down Gate Gill Fell now. And you can see behind us the route up. And it's still mighty windy. We've not found anywhere to stop for, for lunch yet. It's still early. It's, it's only about half eleven, I think. Oh, yeah, it's windy. <laughs> and don't know if you can make out on here. There's the ridge and then there's an avoiding path. I think we're going to do the avoiding path. <laughs> I've had enough of the ridges for today. 
Uh, uh, all right, we'll see if we can get out of this wind somewhere. See you in a bit. So we're making our way down Gateskill Felt. Oh, this is much quieter than, than going up Holsfelt. We've seen, we've seen two people on our way down. So maybe the search for a for one quiet route has worked, but it certainly wasn't Holsfelt. It was, it was manic going up there. Oh, look at the views we've got. You don't have to be right at the top of the hill, see for the view. It's looking over Cliff Head over towards Helvellyn. Central Fells there. Goldale Fells over Derwent Water, Grassmoor. We're not that far from the car. There, in them trees there, that's where we're parked. Up the mountain, up the mountain. So not far to go, and I think we're gonna have we're gonna have lunch when we get down there. It's still early. Oh, and it went flying then. Up the mountain, up the mountain, yeah. I'm never going back oh. again, I swear. Right, so down we go. Us back on the outward route, nearly back at the car. I didn't do any filming coming down Gateskill Fell. Oh, that was a bit of a nightmare. Steep, loose, and slippy. You have to be careful with your footing coming down there. Ah, so what have I thought of it? What did I think of Hall's Fell? Well, <laughs> it was too busy for starters. I was surprised actually. Uh, it was edgy, that was uh, for sure. I mean, it was good fun. There was only really one, one really exposed bit. And when I'd got past that, there was a, an avoiding path around it as well. But even that, there was a few people having problems just around that particular area. But no, I enjoyed it, it was good. I won't be in a rush to go back there, so too busy. Really surprised me did that. Uh, coming down, that's a, that was a quiet route. Uh, we saw four people coming down there. But my legs now, oh, on top of yesterday's eight and a half miles in our gills, they're like jelly. <laughs> and I had a request on Facebook to put walk details like distance, altitude, terrain but on the I always put my photographs and route and everything on Facebook but what I'll do I'll put them at the end of the video so I'll put how many miles it was total altitude and what hills we've walked what the terrain was like so oh Oh, I'm looking forward to getting back to the car and sitting down. <laughs> so if you've enjoyed it, please do the usual. Liking, subscribing, ringing the notification bell, sharing, commenting, all the usual malarkey. And hopefully, see you on the next one. Ciao!